Welcome back to Live with Trevor and Nikki here on www.thatchannel.com. Uh, we've been gone for a little bit. We're glad to be back. Yeah. And how are you loving this weather? No complaints with me. No complaints with Much me Much better either. than the snow. Uh, you know you got saying? it. You got that right. So there's been a lot going on in the world. And um, one of the uh, untimely deaths, February 11th, uh, the wonderful Whitney Houston yeah. passed away at 48. Just think, last year, last year was Michael Jackson, yes. and here we are almost a year later, it's Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Very Unbelievable. sad. Unbelievable. Yeah. So there's been a lot of reactions to uh, her death, and uh, I guess um, it's still not uh, confirmed what the cause of her death is. They're saying that uh, she possibly drowned in the bathtub, uh, probably dozed off because she was, you know, so busy during the week. I think it was um, anticipation of the Grammys, and she was getting busy with that and, and so many other projects she's involved. In, so. well, she was in town. She was in town for, um, I think, that week mm -hmm. before the actual. Uh, they do a lot of uh, off-air presentations right. just before the actual Grammys itself, and she was actually in town, um, getting things together. She actually contacted um, uh, Clive. You mm -hmm. know, Clive is her definitely her protege who got her started mm -hmm. in the music business, and. You know, she was actually supposed to perform uh, a few hours later, and then, of course, we find her in uh, the bathtub, you know? So, yeah. very, very sad. Very, indeed, very sad. You know? No, I. I my first impression of uh, Whitney, I was a teenager back in Montreal, and um, I saw this beautiful woman. I think she, well, she was like she was my gorgeous. age, um, in Seventeen magazine, mm -hmm. and yep. it, for me, it was a beautiful thing because I didn't see a lot of beautiful black women in in magazines at that time. So uh, she really like opened up my eyes um, to someone who kind of looked like me, someone I could emulate. Yeah. And then later on, when the music just came on the scene, that I was I was smitten, you know, like I was a fan for life from that point. Well, she actually was in Toronto. I actually met Whitney when she was in Toronto, when she first got signed with uh, Arista Records, distributed through BMG. Right. And they um, they actually did a uh, closed 40, 50 people at the Old Blue Note. If you remember oh, the wow. Old Blue Note in yeah. town, everybody. Great place. And uh, I got to experience Whitney Houston doing Saving All My Love, all those great songs on that first album for a good hour. And, and that, that, that was, was the Whitney favorite. Houston when that she had was the big the hair. And yes, yeah. Oh, I love and that. that was beautiful. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's, it's really sad. But um, the actual funeral and everything that we saw on, uh, on TV uh, a few weeks ago on the passing, it was just beautiful. I thought that was uh, the church, the, the amount of superstars that came yeah. out and supported her, just a beautiful thing. It was such a wonderful celebration of her life. Yeah, really. it was, it was. Yeah, and um, Bobby Christina, her 19-year-old um, oh, daughter. Oh, boy. Uh, really being gracious and uh, just so amazing um, during this very difficult time. And she was on uh, Oprah not too long long ago, um, you know, very, being very open about yep. Um, yep. her relationship with her mother and uh, how she feels. And apparently she she's had some kind of spiritual uh, connection with her mom. Apparently she's being comforted by her mom in spirit, what she told Oprah. Well, she, she's she's been very close, let's face it. Mm -hmm. She's been very close with her mother uh, since uh, since she was a baby. Yeah. And uh, I think really you can, you, you sort of saw that relationship develop. And um, uh, now obviously what we're hearing is, uh, you know, she wants nothing to do with her father. Yeah, I heard so, she's going to drop her name to uh, Bobby Christina Houston. Yeah, and now she wants to take up singing, dancing, acting. Yeah. So definitely following her mother's full footsteps. Well, you she's know? got a beautiful voice. I heard her on YouTube and uh, oh, I haven't heard very her. Whitney esque. Yeah, really? yeah, I can't wait for something to come out. Um, another thing that I've heard is that uh, now Whitney apparently uh, unofficially adopted um, a young man about 20 some odd years ago. Really? And, um, I didn't I hear anything Bobby about Christina's that Bobby Christina's dating him. Pardon? Yeah. She's dating her, her non-brother. Wow. Yeah. Mm, well, mm. I... Uh, they reported uh, locking lips not too long ago, so... Wow. Well, that, yeah. well you'll have to keep, keep us all up to date on that one. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know too much about that's, that one there, but, uh, but... That uh, is a bit they're different. They're not related. They're not related. So, but it's not they, anything... But Winnie did adopt. Not officially. Not of, oh, not officially. Not okay. officially, but someone she took in as wow. kind of a son but not officially Well, on, that's news to me. I, I didn't hear anything about that, so yeah. you'll have to keep us all updated yeah. on that one. So, we've got something exciting coming up. April 29th, Rabbit Records do. Showcase. We do, we do. Tell me about it. Well, Rabbit Records is proud to present Rabbit Up, which is a great night of beautiful R&B, soul, um, and some great singers. And uh, 
my co-host here is actually hosting uh, that evening. Uh, is is going to be frontlining is what we're really talking I'm about. I'm really excited. Well, we got some great artists on the show. We've got Eunice. We've got Naja. Um, we've got uh, obviously Nikki, and we've got some surprises uh, which we're not going to really talk about. But on our next show. We've got Sarah and uh, a couple of the others uh, who are part of the show is going to come up and talk about it. Part of the production team. Yep. Mm -hmm. we got DJ Sheldon. Uh, fabulous music. You'll love him. And Joshua Cummings is going to be our MC for that evening. And um, they're, uh, we're just putting all that together right now. Um, the winner, of course, uh, not you, you're already signed, <laughs> but uh, the winner uh, uh, will uh, actually get an artist development deal with the label, so, so it's exciting. Okay, so how do people compete? Do you, do you just select them? or? Well, I think, I think really what we're going to do is it's, um, it's really more of uh, the A&R, the staff at the label, okay. as opposed to competing. Okay. Um, there's going to be a little VIP section, which will start prior to that. Uh, it's almost sold out. It's... Um, and from what I hear, they're looking at doing another two or three throughout the year. So this one's the R&B soul side. A uh, few months down the road, we're going to do a, a, an island uh, type of an evening mm -hmm. and take it from there. Where's Hopefully, we'll take that show. It is going to be at uh, Rancho Relaxo, which is 300 College Street, and that's right here in town. Okay, so that's College Spadina area, right? College Spadina area, okay. yeah. No, Mexican restaurant there. downstairs. Very cool little spot. Yeah, it is. It's a cool vibe there. So I'm really excited to perform. Yeah, it's well, great. we're looking forward to it, too. Original music, folks. Absolutely. Um, now, another thing that's coming up is... Uh, April 20th, I uh, believe, is the day where the world is going to band against uh, a gentleman that, uh, well, a non-gentleman in my books, um, Coney. Yeah, Joseph tell us Coney. A little about that. Yeah. Um, there is uh, a group of people who are trying to make him famous for the reason of uh, bringing attention to uh, this warlord. Um, he all was ousted Uganda out of Uganda, Uganda yeah, 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 um, yeah, the yeah, ex-leader of the that. LRA, uh, for his uh, incredible, uh, you know, things that he's done to uh, youth. Um, mm -hmm. Had um, a very young uh, children involved in the war and uh, all kinds of sex crimes. Well, there's um, a lot going. There's a lot, lot of a lot of press and a lot of news around that, and rightfully so. I mean, yeah. let's face it, nobody should uh, have the right to take anybody anybody else's life. Absolutely and, uh, not. And I think uh, you know that's that's something that we have to look at. And and as every country, we've got to go in there. We can't afford to have things like that happen. I mean, that's uh, that's just not uh, not good for youth. And um, uh, so I'm just glad to hear that it's out in the limelight mm -hmm. and the world is watching. So the you know, world is watching we'll and uh, the world cares. Yes, yeah. more importantly. Yeah. A lot of people care, mm -hmm. so that's a good point. Um, and this week is Fashion Week here in Toronto, so uh, that's a very exciting time. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of uh, the Fashion Week is an event that's happening tonight. So if you're looking for something to do, um, come out and have a fashion shoot meeting music tonight at. Uh, Alley Cats, 7 o'clock to about 2 a.m. There's going to be some music playing with DJ Flashmatic, as well as a photo shoot by Randy Lang. Um, so you'll be a little bit uh, involved in Fashion Week, and you get to network, and you meet some great people. So that's going to be at Alley Cats. And we're going there and, tonight. And uh, we're, we're going to check that yep, out at 2409 Young Street, and that's north of Eglinton. So please stop by. It's $10 uh, before 1130, and then $15 after that. But if you come with me, no charge. Hey. Hey. Just Rolling with the Pick VIP. up the phone and ask for Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're here and we're going to be right back with some great guests. Our first will be Howard Green. All film right. maker and actor and uh, executive producer of Machete Joe, an incredible film. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. See you in a minute. Welcome back to Live with Trevor and Nikki, and I'm so excited to have filmmaker, producer, actor Howard Green to the show. Welcome. Yes, my man. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me in the show. It's, well, we're, we're excited that you actually came. You're in town, number one, mm -hmm. and we, we, we want you to come on and explain some of the great things that you've been doing, man. Great, great. Yeah. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on Machete Joe. That's yes. amazing. Thank you. Yeah. I know a, that was a long way in the coming, right? Oh, absolutely. It's a dream come true. You know, uh, four years, almost five years in the making. Wow. And my dream actually came to reality. So I'm excited that it's out right now and uh, it's playing everywhere. 
So what, uh, what, what, what got you involved in actually making that particular movie? Well, you know, uh, I started out in the business as, as an actor uh -huh. and a stuntman, and I kind of got tired of waiting around, you know, for that phone to ring sometimes. So uh, I decided to step out and with my partner, I have a producer partner that lives in L.A., mm -hmm. and we step out and we, we shot this movie, and we got a distribution deal, and uh, now it's out. Well, that, you know, I, I mean, it sound, folks, it sounds real easy what Howard's talking about, but it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of people, a lot of restless hours, a lot of late nights, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's and, uh, blood, and sweat, and tears that goes into making this film. Mm -hmm. so, so, um, so did you guys, uh, did you come, who, who came up with the, the, the whole idea of, uh, of the story, or was it, from a, was it a true story? Or? Well, you know, um, uh, the story came from another script that my producing partner uh, wrote called Weekend in Paradise, okay. which is another film that we, we want to shoot sometime soon. And there is a character in that, uh, in that script called Machete Man. You know, back in the islands, uh, actually that movie was set in, it's set in California, but some of it's going to be shot in, in Jamaica or, or the islands. Machete Where you're originally and, from. That's right. Yeah. And there's a character in that film uh, by the name of Machete Man. So a friend of mine at the time, a girlfriend of mine at the time, was reading the script. And she thought that the character was very interesting. So she said that to me, you know, we can make a movie around this, this, this character. So I called my partner right away and said, you know, Gordon, you know, we should uh, write a story around this, this Machete Man. So, and that's how Machete Joe was born from another s script. Wow. A character in another script. That's great. So, so acting, how long have you been acting, Howard? Well, I've been in the business for over, over 10 years, you know, and uh, in, fr in, in front of the camera as, as an actor and a stuntman. I uh, worked on several uh, um, Hollywood blockbusters and big films. Can you and name a couple of them? Would we recognize? Um, I was just going to ask you the same thing. Some of them would be like uh, The Day After Tomorrow with Jake Gyllenhaal. That's oh, a good yeah. one. Oh, yeah. 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 And 16 Blocks with Bruce Willis mm -hmm. and Most Def. As a matter of fact, I was uh, Most Def Stunt Devil. Uh, on that film, so wow, yeah, and wow. and also um, you know I work on the TV, the TV series Soul Food, you know, um, so many, so many to mention. Wow, yeah. so we got we got, we got an icon here. We do an icon here, yeah, folks. You, you uh, you're a master of many things, and martial arts is one of the things that you're uh, right adept at. So yes. How did you get involved in that? Uh, at an early uh, when I first started out, uh, you know, I I started out training in martial arts. You know, and, and and that led to to discovering uh, you know my mentor Bruce Lee. You know, after oh, watching the Bruce, Bruce Lee movies, Lee. Mm -hmm. so you know, Bruce and Lee. yeah, absolutely. And then I wanted to to venture out more into into the martial arts. So that led to me doing stunt work in, in mm -hmm. films and television. If I remember back in the day, talking about Bruce Lee, you'd be at the clubs, and then we'd be going down to Young Street. Maybe our, our friends, uh, you know, catching those uh, one, two o'clock flakes in the morning. Right. We were there. Oh wow! Enter the Dragon, Return of the Dragon, all of that. That was that was just amazing. Oh yeah. Uh, another yeah. sad loss, huh? No, I grew Bruce. up with Bruce Lee too, playing in the house. My dad was a big fan, so uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Bruce Lee is loved. Bruce Lee very early. Oh yeah, he's loved by by millions of people all over the world, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, I mean, he, he paved the way for for a lot of the action heroes that you see now, like the the Jackie Chan, Jackie and Chan. the Jet yeah. Lees, yeah. Yeah. the Chuck Norrises, and the Van Dams, and Steven Seagal. Oh yeah, he's 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 a legend. You yeah. Know? Well, that was an interesting story. You mentioned Chuck Norris, and I guess uh, I can't remember the uh, the what was the American show? It was. Uh, uh, they had a they had a documentary on Bruce, mm -hmm. and when he was coming over to America, right? And uh, I can't remember that there was a there was a show that had started up. Um, uh, was it Texas Ranger? Uh, Walker Texas, Texas Ranger? Yes, okay. Texas Ranger that's was just, definitely that's one of them. A series, yeah. Yes, yes. Right. And I guess uh, at that point in time, they didn't really take Bruce Lee that seriously mm -hmm. uh, because it was more Americanized. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. of course, we all knew what happened after that. After right. Enter the Dragon, Return right. the Dragon, right. that was it for me. Well, that's Bruce right. Lee was in the, um, the Green Hornet, wasn't he? As a that's sidekick? Right. A TV, yes, a TV series. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, I remember that. That's one of the first American uh, TV show. Yes. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what got you started in, in martial arts? Uh, it was Bruce Lee, you know, Bruce after watching, Lee. yeah, after watching his movies, you know, uh, I got inspired by him and, you know, he just like, I remember one night I went to, to the theater and, and after watching Enter the Dragon, you know, that, that was it for me. He just, this guy, just, he just jumped off the screen, you know. And there was so, so many variations of martial oh, arts though, right? What? I mean, you got what, kickboxing, uh, taekwondo. Kung fu. What, 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 uh, what did you uh, I, I started out, do, I started in taekwondo. Taekwondo. Yeah. Taekwondo, and then I started after Taekwondo. Then I did Kung Fu, and you know I practiced with different masters and different, different arts. disciplines. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and then combined it together.
Yeah, I took I took uh, I took the kickboxing kung fu. I started off in taekwondo, mm -hmm. but that on a short guy. So you know what? I I thought it was more feet footwork. Right. Whereas I enjoyed well, more. Well, taekwondo boxing. is more is more of a foot footwork. Right. Karate is more like uh, you know with the fist. Hands, yeah. fists, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, great discipline though. Oh, really absolutely. enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, I enjoy kickboxing classes every now and then. Oh, well, that's good. That, that's good. Okay. Keeps you in shape, right? That, well, that's it's right. a discipline, definitely, right. to get there Abs to the gym. Absolutely. But um, so, tell us a little bit about the film. Give us a little synopsis of Machete Joe. Well, Machete Joe is uh, uh, is about a group of actors in in Hollywood who's uh, fed up with the business, and you know, as you know, we can all fed up with certain things, something absolutely. sometimes, and yeah. they decided to to go out at a remote castle in the desert to shoot this this movie about an urban myth an urban legend and while they're filming this movie of what took place in the castle yeah. then a series of events starts happening so body starts to fall okay yeah wow. all right now i think you brought something with us right we have a clip yeah to i think show? we have a little clip okay yeah. beautiful oh. so i'd love to show that um so can you give us a little introduction to what we're going to see right now uh what we're going to be seeing is a, a clip of a short clip of the trailer of Machete Joe. Uh, How was that? Great. It wasn't that painful, wasn't it? Oh, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't painful, but it was uh, a little creepy with the little machete going on. So um, tell me, how long did it take to put the film together? Well, it took us from the idea to, to actual, to the distribution. It took us about five years in the making. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Five years That's called making. dedication. That five years dedication. of blood, sweat, and dedication. tears. Yeah. A lot of hard work. So where was it, where was it all shot? Was it one location or uh, no? Uh, the whole locations? movie was shot in, in Southern California. Nice. Uh, at a remote castle in the desert in California. Wow. Yeah. Big oh. set or sorry, big yeah. Set or? Um, the set was a, it was a medium set. It wasn't like a big Hollywood set, but it was it, it was a medium sized set. Yeah. And it's just it received so much um, acclaim. Like so many people are are just really feeling this movie and where can people find it now? Like well you know uh, yes a lot of people are, are, uh, did this big buzz uh, about the movie right now which mm -hmm. I'm excited about and um, the distribution deal that we that we signed with uh, Phase 4 Film which is our distributor mm -hmm. is uh, Canada, the US, the Bahamas, the Virgin Islands and all of the Caribbean so the movie will be distributed across the nation. Wow congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and right now that's beautiful it's, year. Thank you. That's right huge. now it's, it's currently um, yeah, you can you can find it on on uh, iTunes, mm -hmm. uh, Amazon.ca, um, Blockbusters in, in the States online. You can also uh, get it at Walmart. So the DVD is also in the Walmart store across Canada and the U.S. That's great. Much now that's a big Walmart? one. Yeah. Walmart. I get my copy tonight. And also too, yeah. it's also Walmart till it's midnight. <laughs> it's, it's, also, it's also on Netflix. So you know, whoever have Netflix. Well, I got Netflix, so Netflix. I'll definitely check it out yeah. on that. Well, How that's much beautiful. Did you say the DVD was? I'm sorry. Uh, I think in the store, I think it's like seventeen dollars. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. It's around there. Okay. Well, and that's you've got great. another Walmart. project that you're working on right now because I know that you're leaving shortly. Yes. For the States, right? I'm going to be going to L.A. My partner is going to be doing a DVD release party in L.A. So I'm going to be going to that DVD release party of Machete Joe. We had one here two weeks ago in, t in Toronto. I heard about that. Yeah, I heard six, it was all the rage. Like 600 people came yeah, to yeah. support was, you. That's amazing. Nice. Really good. It was a big turnout. And, uh, you know, um, everyone enjoyed it. And it was really, really good. It was fun. It was a fun night. It was a fun night. And I think we've got something uh, here to show a little... Uh, of the moments, yes, the we, we, of the we have we have a little behind the scene clips of, of what took place at the DV release okay. party. Oh, yeah. the outtakes. Yeah, all right. The outtakes. Always love and, outtakes. And there was a singer in there. Who is the singer in this uh, video that we're going to see soon? Uh, 
I don't believe there's a singer in it, no. but but there there's a girl that was singing that There night. was a girl that was yeah, singing. Yeah, I think that her night. name is Honey Hay. Okay, yeah. is she in the? Uh, uh, she's she, I think she's in the clip. Is she's okay? Yeah. Is she in the movie or? Is she's she not in the movie at all. No, she's okay. in the movie. She was just there performing that night. Okay, nice. yes, yeah. great. Yeah, nice. okay, great. All right, so let's take a look. Check it. We live here at the Machete Joe movie premiere. A lot of actors here. We got Paul Campbell. A lot of celebrities. Gonna be a crazy. I wanted it to be a acoustic, ambient, dark, but then transformative because it's a matter of transformation from tragedy to realization, you know? Well, what I did was I, see, I kicked it with Howard. We did a little preview of the movie at my place. Got a little idea of who the character was. And since he can't speak, I figured I'm going to take the opportunity to write first person. This is the boss right here, man. Talk about that movie that came out. Well, Machete Joe is a, is a suspense thriller set in California. It's about a group of actors in Hollywood who um, set out to make a film about an urban myth. And while they're making this movie, a series of events starts happening. Go check it out. Right now it's playing on Rogers On Demand, Bell TV, it's at Walmart. It's all over the place. My name is Sujit. I'm on Little Mosque on the Prairie. I'm here to support Howard Green, who produced Machete Joe, Canadian film. Go see it! I want to say, you know, a big shout out to um, Howard, Howard Green. Machete Joe, I play the title role. Machete Joe, I'm the guy that does the hacking. And uh, for me, it's always bad or mad. This time, it was both. Um, however, the film speaks very well of the kind of genre it is, which is a slasher film. And uh, I want to mention more than anything else, the producers of the film are two young Jamaican brothers. One of the top boxers ever, top two in Canada, right? So talk about the boxing. You look like a star already, man. Back, back, oh, in, the, back in the days, man, you know what I'm saying? I was the champion, you know what I'm saying? But right now, it's my boy, Sean, coming up. You know what I mean? He's the champion coming up now. We're here tonight for Howard Green and Machete Joe, baby. Believe that, man. A lot of opportunities yeah. in this. You know what I'm saying? I wish one day we could do something with Raw. Raw's a big star in the making. Make sure you guys look up at right. That's a joke. And, 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 and be able to live to tell about it. Yeah. 20 Eight feet. Uh, that's how much I jump between two buildings. What? I know, man. It's not very easy to make a film. You know, and yes, it does. And uh, there's so many intricacies to it. But they have uh, suffered, you know, and gone through it and have done it. And there's a DVD release party tonight. Well, we going to do it, man. Believe that. I see you. 2012. I
was that was great, man. That, that was, was amazing. That was, I'm thank so you. sorry wonderful. I missed it. That beautiful. was so much fun. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You know, yeah, we had, we had a great time. It was wonderful and it was exciting. And I can't wait to go to LA to to do uh, one over there with my partner, my producing partner, Mr. Paul Campbell. Yes, yeah. from Shatta's Dancehall Queen. He's an icon yeah. in Jamaica. Yeah, he's very yeah. iconic. Yeah. That's amazing. So who, who's who's uh, some of the cast uh, cast uh, members in the? Uh, the cast is a very, is very uh, it's an ensemble cast, oh. and some of the leads that we have in the film is uh, Paul Campbell from Shatters, yeah. Dance Hall Queen, Third World oh, Cop, yep. uh, Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters. We also have Erica Gimple from Coco, Coco, Coco. from, from Fame. Fame. You remember yeah. Coco back from in the day? Fame. Yeah, and uh, and also Art Heavens from um, from uh, A Soldier's Story yeah. and that Die Hard, the movie Die Hard yes. with Bruce Willis. Yeah. yeah, so it's a it's a really good cast and some great actors. Fabulous. Nice cast, yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Well, listen, man, it was so wonderful. We're so blessed to have you on this show, and we wish you all the best, many more successes, and let us know what you're up to because we'd love to have you back on this show. Thank you for having me, and uh, my next project that I'm working on is uh, is a feature called Black Leather Souls, which is set in 1930s Harlem. This is about a tap dancer, oh. and and that piece right now is is in the hand of some Hollywood insiders, and we're looking forward to you know to shoot it sometime this year okay so is that on the other side in the u.s or yes in the u.s okay yeah we look forward to seeing that one absolutely congratulations and again where can people find you uh www.machetejoethemovie.com or uh howard green on facebook okay or on twitter howard green entertainment excellent excellent thank you so much for being here thank you nice to have you out on all right thank you and we'll be right back with sherry petrie of the fashion district don't go anywhere All right, we're back with the uh, beautiful and talented Sherry Petrie. She is the creative director and designer of uh, Altered Couture, yep. the creative uh, director of the Fashion District. Thanks so much for coming back. Oh, yeah. it's nice to yeah. see you guys. Welcome on the show. Thank One you. of our favorite people. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's well, a great friend to the show, so yeah. thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Love dressing you guys. Yeah. 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 That's fun. You like being dressed too? Yeah. yeah. When we just had a birthday, we celebrated together. Actually. That's Every right. 23rd. We did. Yeah, Sam 23rd. Pisces Rock. Pisces Rock. Rock. People, Pisces Rock. We're creative people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So You're great friends. Fashion Week. Isn't that exciting? It fashion is. Week is oh, exciting. Oh, Toronto is buzzing with Fashion Week, and I have actually a few nice pieces is to show you with uh, three models today and so you're going to see three different outfits you're going to see uh, a beautiful outfit from Embody, uh, one from Depp and one of our Desigual outfits so you're going to see and they're all local? Well they're not all local we also carry a small line of independent um, European designers as well so mm -hmm. we're trying to showcase that a little bit. That okay. Looks nice. Great. great. Can't wait. So what Good. do we have? Yeah. Let's check it out. Alright. Nina is wearing an amazing vest by one of our favorite young designers Embody. It's designed to fit all the women's curves. It has so much detail, the golden buttons, the trims, and the thing that makes this vest really special is it has a detachable bustle at the back. Now several of our customers have actually asked to have more of these bustles made so they had different colors. So it's a great little outfit and it's one of a kind and they retail for $2.19 and they come in sizes extra small to extra large. Nice, I like that. Next we have Alex, and Alex is wearing our spring collection for Desigual men, and the shorts are reversible with plaid on one side and natural on the other, and you can see the zipper detail on the side there. And I think Toronto men are afraid of color, so they should actually get used to wearing lots of color. Desigual will actually be a good introduction to men who want color. I can see you wearing that, Trevor. Absolutely. I like that. I like that. Looks very Euro. They are. And the shorts are retail for $154, uh, and they come in sizes 32 to 36. The plaid shirt is actually amazing because it's cotton, but it also has a sleeve that's mixed. So it actually can show off your pipes. Slim fit. Well, we know what everyone's going to be Thank wearing this you, summer, don't we? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now here's Justine. Justine is wearing a wonderful Desigual dress and it's a beautiful cotton and you can see that it has lots of detail. It's adorable double pockets on the front with top stitching and they have embroidery on them as well. And if you look at the back here you'll see this lovely Asian print. Beautiful. And it can be worn with boots, it can be worn with shoes, dressed up a little belt. This belt retails for $24.99 and the dress is actually $149 at the store as well. I just love the details. Beautiful. Uh, that's yep. just a great look. Period. Great neckline, wonderful yeah. muted soft colors. All these pinks are really in the season. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous I like line. That. I love it. 
So the Fashion District is actually going to be launching its very own store and you can shop from home from there and it's going to have all the Canadian designers that you love in the Toronto. So it's actually going to be the, all the Fashion District mm -hmm. with local designers. Buy it online, www.torontofashiondistrict.biz. So you can go there. We're going to launch on April 11th and you'll be able to see all kinds of amazing things. And everyone can shop at home everyone in their own living room, home, their own home. Yeah. I mean, nice. we have a, you know, we have a downtown store at 553 Queen Street West. You can go visit us at the shop uh -huh. or you can come and visit us online now. And, and you our got some great stuff. Uh, we have great Beautiful stuff. stuff. Yeah. And, and you got a little Beat for Health contribution there too. I do, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm carrying Nikki's line of jewelry in the store now. So it's another local designer that we're promoting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Support yeah. our own folks. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Buy Canadian. Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Right. Wonderful. It's always a pleasure having you here. And Thank I can't wait to see what you've got next coming I know. Up. Big All show right. coming up in July. So where, where can people find you? What's your website? www.thefashiondistrict.ca. Okay. Sherry yeah. Girl, thank you so much. Thanks. You rock. Yeah. High five. We Always rock. a pleasure. Girls rock. Birthday girl. <laughs> Birthday boy. All right. <laughs> Love it. Right. Yeah, it was great. Well, it's been an amazing show. We want to thank Sherry Petrie of the Fashion District and Howard Green um, of Machete Joe. Great guy. Wonderful, wonderful contribution. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. And we'll see you guys next time. On Live with Trevor and Nikki on www.channel.com.